Happy holidays, steamies! Well, we've just completed the classic era of Thomas and Friends, series 1-7. to seven. So I thought for this holiday special I'd do something a little different. I decided to create a list of my favourite episodes of Thomas and Friends that are either set at Christmas or during winter. The reason it's not a straightforward Christmas list is that after doing my research on the classic era, we took all the episodes that were set at Christmas time, we'd only have four. So I expanded the list to include all winter related episodes, i.e. stories that are sent around the winter season, and it bumps up the total to 15 episodes. And that to me is more like an actual list. As this is the case, there's a couple of caveats that I need to state. And the main one being that if an episode is set at Christmas time in the winter, it will automatically go higher than a good story that is set in the winter season. For example, I love The Flying Kipper. I'm not as fond of Thomas's Christmas Party. On this list, Thomas's Christmas Party would go higher than The Flying Kipper because it's a story set at Christmas. Whereas The Flying Kipper is a brilliant story, but in the winter season. I know for some fans that'll be confusing, but for my head, it makes sense to me. It is my list, and I just hope that you respect my opinions. Also, I'm not going to go into full deep dive of the episodes because I have a slight throat infection and I need to keep my energy for everyday life, like my day job and looking after my family. So these are my top 15 winter themed episodes from Thomas and Friends, the classic era, series 1 to 7. Once again, these are my own personal opinions and no doubt your list will be different than mine. That's the one thing that makes the Thomas fandom so unique. And please let me know in the comments what your favourite winter themed episodes are. All I ask is that you be respectful and above all, enjoy the video. Okay, let's dive in. Number 15, Jack Frost. It's only here because 15 seems like a better top number round off than 14. That's just the way my head works. I honestly don't want to talk about this episode, I think it's garbage. Number 14, Snow. Yes, the Series 5 fanboys are going to absolutely annihilate me for putting that at second bottom. But even though it's a great winter setting, the fact that it jumps from the original narrow gauge engine models to the new narrow gauge engine models and the issues that I had around the story, I just couldn't see past it. There were just other episodes that were better on this list. Number 13, It's Only Snow. A Series 6 episode that totally debunks the purpose and presence of the lesson that Thomas learned in the first series. In Thomas turns in the snow, Thomas does not like the fact that he has to have a snowplow, thinks he's invincible to snow, it comes back and bites him in the backside, Terrence saves him, and he learns a lesson. He learns that while he doesn't like his snowplow, they are a necessary evil to do his job. In this episode, he still doesn't like his snowplow, obviously, and the fact that a snowplow now looks absolutely god-awful. I mean, honestly, what were they thinking with that snowplow? Makes total sense to me. But then, the snowplow breaks. He powers through valiantly without his snowplow to do his job. And as a reward, he doesn't need his snowplow. I know that there was a reason behind it because it was in the works, but come on, they could have gave him back his snowplow from season one. Too big a plot hole. Didn't make sense to me. That's why it's so low. Number 12. Toby had a little lamb. Another series 6 episode, the introduction of Farmer McCall, from what I remember. If it isn't, please correct me in the comments. I, as I said, I'm not feeling well, so my knowledge might be a little bit off. Uh, it was also one of the last episodes where Duck had not a starring role, but a prominent role in a story, as he had to go and try and clear the snow to get to Farmer McCall and couldn't because the snow drift was too deep. And Toby's a hero. He goes on his old branch line where it's not, it's very safe to get the farmer call and save the lambs. So good on him. Only downside to this was it was a series 6 episode. If it was done in series 5 then I think it would have had better aesthetics and a better setting around it. I think it was just a victim of its time. Number 11, Snow Engine. Series 7 episode, I had Oliver towed in it for one of the last times at this point. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I liked how their perspectives of snow changed by the end of the episode. Again, the character arc. My fan of those, what can I say? Number 10. A Scarf for Percy. When you're reading the Railway series books, it's a bit disjointing and Henry the Green Engine to have a random episode about Percy in it. 
the only thing about it is that he goes up to Henry and says, my funnel's cold, I want a scarf. And Henry says, no, we don't need scarves. That being said, though, it is a good episode. It has my favourite character, Percy, in it. I love the double on Tondra line of engines with proper funnels do. You've only got a small one. <laughs> yes, I'm a big child. Yes, I apologise. And they padded it out into more of a decent storyline rather than just having it as a throwaway story like it was in the book. Number nine, Mavis. Great introduction of a prominent female character in the Thomas and Friends universe. She's not overly sexualized with her makeup like Daisy was in series two or the way she was in the Railway series books. It's a good use of a winter setting to teach a valuable lesson. And it's OG Toby, where he's still that curmudgeon little old man who's like, you can spin because you messed this up. Oh wait, it's my trucks. I better go and help her. You want any more explanations as to why I think that's a, such a baller move? Watch the Unlucky Tugs Sodor's finest video on Toby. Honestly, it's quite cool. Number eight, special funnel. Something I found ironic when I was making this list was that the two classic era series of Thomas and Friends where the fans seem to totally fanboy out over only have one episode each that has a winter theme in it. Season five had snow, season four has special funnel. They're also unique because both episodes that are set at winter in these two series involve the narrow gauge engines. How about that? I love this story, the atmospherics and the winter earth settings that David Mitten does in this story in particular are beautiful. The story of Peter Sam's special funnel is fantastic. Just wish that they were able to do a little bit more detail on what his funnel was called. Because a lot of people call it Geisel, a lot of people call it Geisel. So I just want to know which is the right way to say it. Any answers in the comments would be great. Number seven, Thomas Terns and the Snow. Ah, the series one episode that I was talking about earlier. The introduction of Terms the Traction Engine, a cameo from Bertie the Bus, hands down the best episode of the Tank and Thomas Again series of stories. Yes, Thomas and Bertie is quite interested in the chase sequence is good. When you read it in the Railway series books, this is definitely the standout one. The snow settings were fantastic, the camera work was brilliant, and what can I say? Number six, Deputation. Anyone who knows me by now knows that I love a good bit of the political side of the Railway series stories, and it's definitely the case with the Deputation. It involves two of my favourite engines, Donald and Douglas. It shows that when the engines realise that there is an injustice, aka sending both of the engines back and they will both be scrapped, they stand up for each other and fight their corner. The fact that it's Percy that has to go and speak to the Fat Controller about it, again, my favourite engine, what a chad and it ends in the most delightful way. The twins are here to stay. Number five, the Flying Kipper. It's the Flying Kipper. It showed everybody what this Thomas world could achieve with a winter setting. And if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have this list of episodes. Number four, Thomas's Christmas Party. And here we go, we're in the Christmas episodes now. Again, I'm not a fan of this episode because I would have rather it being a two-parter. You had the story from Toby and the Tram Engine as part one, and then having Thomas's Christmas Party as part two would make it feel like a more complete, well-rounded story, which it was meant to be. But with the way they've done it, I do get it, but I'm just not a fan. Number three, Not So Hasty Puddings. This may be a surprise for people, a Series 7 episode trumping a Series 1 episode on my list. But in terms of Christmas setting episodes, this one for me wins. It's got great characters in it. Thomas, Terence, and Elizabeth. It's a good story. It was a good way for them to kind of round up series seven. I would have loved to have actually seen an Elizabeth and Terence the Tractor Engine story. That would have been really good. Matter of fact, I might do that for a fan fiction episode. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Number two, Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree. The series two aesthetic. Ringo Starr at his finest voiceover work performance. Donald and Douglas having a key role in it. The gaff of Edward's angry face on one of the twin engines was just brilliant. And that last shot where we see all of the engines and then Harold the helicopter comes down. It's Father Christmas and they all sing We Wish You a Merry Christmas at the end. Well, Thomas says, Happy Christmas, Percy. Happy Christmas, everyone. Again, series two is my nostalgia series. I had that for five years of my early life. And that was the one that always reminded me 
of Classic Thomas, the number one winter-themed episode of Thomas and Friends, the classic era, is Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure. One of the reasons I'm so glad I'm Scottish is that we didn't have the whole mix-up that America did where they tried to make it a Thanksgiving episode, and then it was back to a Christmas episode, and then it was just a winter episode, and all that kerfuffle that went around it. Over in uh, our little neck of the woods, we don't have Thanksgiving. We just have Christmas. It was just Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure. We had it in its original guise. It's a really good story. The aesthetics of Season 3, that opening shot of the village, going from it being in its normal kind of summer setting to its snowy setting, Oh, the transition was beautiful. Percy having a starring role in it, again, as we all know, always hits me right in the feels. Harold the helicopter's in it. Toby the tram engine's in it. That's here at the end when they're in the sheds. They all wake up and all the presents are there. And it's just really nice and really heartwarming. The only question I always had to ask was, how could the engines open the presents? Because they don't have any hands. Did the drivers and firemen have to get up Christmas Day and get away from their families to open the presents for them and if they didn't those poor engines had to just sit there and look at their presents until they all came back from their holidays that's a bit of a bummer so that's my top 15 episodes from Thomas and Friends the classic era that were set either at winter or over Christmas I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you all have a lovely holiday season whatever you're doing and until next time keep on chugging <laughs>